What's up, everybody? D Rod two 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 gaming here with the trailer reaction slash review of the trailer and a little uh, comparison to Infinite Warfare. I'll be watching the Battlefield One trailer right here, right now. Let's go ahead and get into it, and I'll give my reaction and review right after we get done with it. So, play it. I've already seen this. Play it first on Xbox One with EA Access. Alright, so pretty much Battlefield 1. Now I got Battlefield 4 pulled up here for my background for right now. That's about it. But, um, okay, so pretty much, listen, I used to be a hardcore Call of Duty fan. I said, you know, Battlefield, eh, okay, game. Yeah, Battlefield 3, when, you know, um, it's about the same time Black Ops 2 was out, somewhat, you know, around that time. So Battlefield 3, it's okay game. Black Ops 2, amazing game. Play the crap out of it. And, you know, after that, Ghost came out. Don't even get me started on that game. Um, then after that, oh, let's put Advanced Warfare in here. You don't want to get me started on Advanced Warfare either. And now they announce Infinite Warfare. Set in space. Since Advanced Warfare, we've been asking for World War I or World War II game from Call of Duty. We want World at War II or another Modern Warfare or something set in the past. We do not want this bull crap that's infinite warfare where you can have space battles. If I want to play something in space in the future, I'll go play Halo, which I'm not even a big fan of, but I'd rather play that because it's a Halo is a space game. Call of Duty is supposed to be about warfare, not space. I can sit here and go on and on about Call of Duty the past few years. Battlefield 4, I play the crap out of it. I love Battlefield 4. Better than Black Ops 2. Better than Advanced Warfare. Better than Ghost. And what does Call of Duty pull out of their pocket? Another Advanced Warfare. But in space. With EXO movements, etc. Now, pretty much, I'm a history geek. I know a lot about World War One. So if you don't, I'll just go over the trailer again, show you, you know, everything that's talk about it while it's going on. I'm not going to play the music audio, so it won't drown me out. But I will play the video over again. I'm going to explain to you what's all going on at the time. If you don't know much about history, uh, so let's replay it. Pretty much right here is a German soldier taking it out. Looks like an American soldier. Here's a horse, Arabian, uh, taking out someone's shovel. World War One plane. The old tanks. Uh, 
mustard gas. Now I want to show y'all something right there. Hold on. I'll talk about it. There's the tanks, trench warfare, tan. You saw there were uh, naval ships and trains. Oh, what this is right here is a uh, Hindenburg Zeppelin. It's pretty much what I think. Um, my, I think that's what it is. All right, so pretty much what you saw. I've heard a lot of people say this. Why is there a guy with a minigun in armor? They didn't have that in World War One. Yes, they did. Look it up. There is armor plates that soldiers wore in the battle to take bullets for them, and it worked. And there, yes, there was Gatling guns in World War One. Um, so that's not against World War One history. That actually happened. Um, so you know. You saw the mustard gas, uh, him putting on a mask. Yes, mustard gas was in World War I. Um, then you saw the trains. Yes, trains was used in World War I a lot. Um, if you look at the trailer closely, you can see the Red Baron plane. I do believe you get a the Red Baron pack if you pre-ordered or something like that. Uh, the Harlem Hellfighters. Uh, So, I mean, I'm not all into World War One. I'm more of a World War Two kind of guy, but I know my stuff about World War One. Um, so I may learn some stuff from this game that I know I don't know about World War One. Hopefully, they involve that. Um, but <laughs> the main point of this video is hashtag ripcod. Ripcoddy is done. You can pull the strings. No matter what infinite warfare brings to the table, it will not surpass Battlefield 1. No matter what it does. But what they try to do with it, it will not pass it. Like 1.5 million dislikes on infinite warfare trailer. Um, I can actually look at you right now with the Battlefield 1. Tell you how many it's got. Wow. One million seven hundred and fourteen thousand likes. And only thirty thousand dislikes. Turn that around for COD. That's what you got. <laughs> About thirty thousand likes for the Infinite Warfare trailer. And that's probably just modern warfare fans. Um and Activision and Infinity War screw you over. Pay 80 bucks to get Modern Warfare Remastered. Which I wouldn't mind buying separately. But no, you gotta buy Infinite Warfare to get the Modern Warfare Remastered for $80. I would rather buy the Collector's Edition for Battlefield 1 for $219 than that crap that you're trying to sell Infinity Ward. I know you're not gonna listen to this video but I'm going to get my word out there to my viewers. You, Infinity Ward, and you, Activision, and you, Treyarch, and you, Sledgehammer Studios are pieces of crap. Get your act together. Learn how to make a video game. Maybe even steal some notes from DICE or EA. You need to get your act together. Or oh, this will be the last Call of Duty game. Trust me. And you asked me a couple years ago what I thought um, Battlefield or COD would be coming out on top here in the next couple years. I would have said Call of Duty when Black Ops 2 was still around. But when Ghost came out, okay, you got one bad game by a different studio. Then you give it to another studio to make another bad game. And then Black Ops 3 comes out with all this crap. Whip, whip, nay, nay, all that crap, the dab, and all that crap. Come on. Do you not listen to us? Do you just go out and do your own little thing? We're the people that buy your video games. 
uh, we ain't interested in the product, we ain't gonna buy it. Spend 80 bucks for your piece of crap. We will go to the company that listens to us, even listens to another fan base. That was good marketing and good business. Because now, COD players that want a World War I game are going to switch over to Battlefield. So pretty much, Battlefield is won. Battlefield won. Battlefield won. <laughs> Bottom line. I can sit here and go on for this for days. But, as you see, Battlefield 1 is going to be amazing. Um, now I'm going to be streaming on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash dra2222. Go check that out. Drop a follow. Thank you all for watching. dra2222 gaming out. Subscribe, like, comment on your comments on the Battlefield 1 trailer. And what you think is going to come out on top. See y'all next time.